Becky Bullard. I run Democracy. I am trying to make democracy sexy so more people do it. Well, thank you all of you for being here. I am just, I, I hope everyone's like quivering in their like witch boots of how impressive this lineup is. On September 1st, 2021, SB8 went into effect in Texas, which banned abortion at six weeks. Before a person would even know they're pregnant or any of my exes would know they're in a relationship. On June 24th of this year, the supremely bad court overturned Roe v. Wade and Texas was one of the many dumbass states that enacted a trigger ban of abortion with no exceptions. I want us to get, it, to get angry about Senate Bill 8, but I also want us to make sure that we don't forget the folk who are most harmed just make sure that, that we are not so caught up into that thing that we forget about the very human part of this. There are our folk who are literally going to die. We need to keep fighting for them and to not give up and to look at this as a, a long fight over the next decade. Because of abortion, because of reproductive rights access, there is going to be a groundswell of turnout in this election that no pollster is accounting for right now. The majority of Texans support abortion. It's just you would never know that because we're gerrymandered, we're oppressed, people are afraid to talk about abortion, even sometimes the people on our side. And one thing that I wanted to do with all of y'all is just saying that you love abortion and screaming it out loud, okay? So one, two, three. I love abortion! If we can change the way our legislators run, if they can run on a reproductive justice framework, and if we can get folk to vote for, for reproductive justice legislators, it'll change the whole thing. And that includes local elections and it includes independent school district elections. It includes everywhere like up the ladder. People at the local level have so much impact on what happens in our lives. When you live in a state as big as ours, the feeling that my one vote isn't gonna make a difference can be pretty compelling with people. But think about Donna Howard, who's in the state house. Woo! Donna won her race by four votes. Republicans have been telling us for a long time that this is exactly what they were going to do. We want to outlaw abortion from the moment of conception. We're living the consequences of that. And if we don't show them in this election cycle that they are going to be held accountable for that, shame on us, truly. Nine out of 10 Texans think that abortion access should be legal in all or some cases. It is only one out of 10 Texans that believe it shouldn't. And so we cannot let the minority win just because they're louder. We can change what the state looks like. And we can make it a state that we want to live in and that we want to stay in. Something that keeps people from voting a lot is that we don't really understand how these offices can impact the issues that we care about. Did you know that the state attorney general is the person who enforces the laws in Texas. They operate independently of the legislature and the governor, and they can decide how to enforce the laws. So for example, if we had a pro-choice, pro-abortion attorney general, they might decide not to enforce an abortion ban. On election day, we will be in a position truly supported by the stars above to make some serious change, to remind not just other Texans, but this whole country, who exactly we are and what we care about. Anytime I feel dismayed about what's happening in Texas, I go to the Texas State Cemetery and I visit Sarah Weddington's grave, Anna Richard's grave, Barbara Jordan's grave, and I ask them for wisdom on how I can carry their vision forward. So on the day that the draft memo of the Supreme Court's opinion overturning Roe v. Wade leaked, I was very, very disturbed and saddened. So I went to the Texas State Cemetery to visit Sarah Weddington's grave to thank her for the 50 years of abortion rights that she had helped make possible and to ask her, what can I do next? And the really cool thing that happened was there were five or six other people who had showed up to do the same thing. 
it made me feel so hopeful and it made me feel not alone. And I hope tonight you feel that you are not alone. And I hope that you will take the power of this community here and spread it outward to create the change that we all want.